We are Iron and Earth, oil sands workers for renewable energy. My name's Liam, and I'm an oil sands worker myself. A fourth generation boilermaker, I grew up on the BC coast, and I'm passionate about protecting our environment. Hey, how's it going, Jimmy? Good to see you, buddy. I've tried to find work in renewable energy, but year after year, the only jobs available to me are in the oil and gas sector. While leading industrial nations like China, America, and Germany are creating millions of green jobs, Canada just seems stuck on one idea, the fossil fuel economy. I think that needs to change, and I'm not alone. Many of my fellow oil sands workers are starting to think this way. People like Randall Benson, who has built a successful solar company creating jobs through training and installations. There are 175 watts at standard test condition, which is 25 degrees. I had to make a plan for me to be in this new renewable energy field. We are skilled workers, electricians, iron workers, pipe fitters, boilermakers, carpenters, and many more trades. And we could easily transfer our knowledge to the green economy. What, what better way to inform the other side than to come from the workers already inside and ask them what they think. Like, I'm out here making a living and I, I, I enjoy it, but I still see a need for renewable energy. A lot of them are really conflicted, myself being one of them. I think a lot of people would want to make that shift, actually. Instead of having one egg in the basket, so to speak, we could have people doing what we have here, installing solar on roofs. That could put a lot of people to work especially in those bus cycles when the oil and gas industry isn't doing so well. If we had leaders, people with vision, we'd actually work towards a sustainable energy future. With a new federal government and a booming global renewable energy sector, now is the time to harness the skills of Canada's oil sands workers. So join Iron and Earth and help us build a strong, vibrant, green economy for all Canadians.